Hello and welcome to the Miller Light Stars of TV Bowling. I'm Richard Skinner along with Doug Martin. We're at Super Bowl here in Erlanger, Kentucky tonight. And we're glad you could be with us for our final regular week of the Miller Light Stars of TV Bowling. If you've been with us before, you know our format by now. We have two youth bowlers, three women and three men vying for their respective divisional championships. And we'll be back to begin the bowling right after this. This program is brought to you as a community service by the Kentucky Post. The Kentucky Post, putting Northern Kentucky first. There's always something extra in the Kentucky Post. Welcome back to Super Bowl. Richard Skinner, Doug Martin. Glad you could be with us for our final regular week. We want to remind you that next week our finals will be at Walt Center Lanes in the Newport Shopping Center. But right now we still have three more championships to go after. And our first youth match will be between Don Perry and Scott Patrick. So let's go to the lanes from Super Bowl. And there is Don Perry, one of our youth bowlers here today. And you've seen Don a couple of times before on our program. He was on earlier this year in the first week of the season at LaRue and finished in second place. Opening shot of the match, and he's got a good mixing ball for a strike. So a good start. Start off the morning. Richard, it's good to be back with you. Yeah, Doug, it's nice to be here, and uh, Super Bowl is one of the more well-known houses, of course, in the area, and we're glad to be back here. This is uh, one of the nicer houses you're going to find in northern Kentucky, and right off I-75, easy to get to. Thank you, appreciate it. It's in your neck of the woods here. Oh, yeah, just a couple of minutes away from home. That's Scott that Patrick for a shot. It looked like it did never really grabbed and hooked up for him, Doug. No, he uh, got that in on the oil and uh, left a tough spare there, but see what he can do with it. One, two, four, eight. We're working on lanes seven and eight here from Super Bowl today. Working on the upstairs portion of Super Bowl. Of course, we have a downstairs here to bowl at. Today upstairs, and now Patrick and get some help off the wall. So got a break with that. It's not exactly uh, the textbook way of doing it, but uh, as long as it gets them down, that's right, and gets that mark on the counts. board. Scott Patrick, as you see right there, is uh, 18 years old, out of Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. He qualified with solid scores of 189, 181, and 224 scratch for a 594 scratch series. Again, a little wide and almost had himself a washout. Yeah, he's uh, he's getting that ball up into the uh, slicker part of the lane too far. I thought he'd make a little adjustment after that first uh, frame, but uh, uh, he didn't. He needs to get the ball out a little wider. He's throwing a uh, black hammer urethane ball. And let's see what he does with this spare, the one, two, four. Well, two for two on spares, so now he's got a chance to go back and think about what adjustments he's got to make. Don Perry, you saw in the opening frame, hammer away with a strike. He qualified with scores of 171, 225, and 205 for a 601 scratch series. So our youth bowlers this week, right around that 600 mark. Oh, that's a pretty nice average for a junior, 182, carries in league. Yep, need some help, Brooklyn, and a little too much deflection that time. Yeah, he pulled that one. Uh, you have a tendency to do that if you squeeze the ball, which a lot of times the first few frames being on TV. Good uh, chance to see him here, Doug. He has a nice follow through, but like I say, he did pull that one. Pulled it, Brooklyn leaves a 5 8. It Perfect. covers it nicely. So Don Perry, who Doug said, carries a 182 average, pick up 15 pins in handicap, and Scott Patrick in this match carrying a 177 average in, and will pick up 18 pins in handicap. So just a three pin handicap differential here in our youth match. Yeah, a little snug and leaves himself a four pin, but he's been right around it on that left hand lane so far in his first two shots. As I said, we've seen Perry a couple times on the program. Of course, I said he finished second earlier this year at LaRue, and then last season also finished second in the fifth week of that season at Bowl Lounge. Well, he's been on TV before, and Scott Patrick today making his first appearance. Going for the 
four pin. Cross lane's got it. Yeah, got ourselves a good start here from both bowlers, and now let's see if Scott Patrick has got a chance to think about what adjustment he's had to make. He's gone very wide on both of his first two shots in this match. Well, that one came in nicely formed, so a strike here in the third for Scott Patrick. Well, the time he was sitting on the bench, he uh, must have given some fun, like you said, and figured out the line there and got the ball out in the proper area and came back nicely. This chance to see where we are in our match, and right there you see it, the one pin lead for Patrick, and the way things look in this match, it'll probably be that way throughout. Yeah, this is going to be a tight one. And a double for Scott Patrick, so... As Doug said, he had to make the adjustment. It looked like he did. Both shots went out just a little bit wider, Doug, and you could see a little bit more hook. Yeah, he got it in the area uh, that you need to be in and brought it back nicely. Yeah, we ought to see, uh, see him continue doing that the rest of the game, I would say now. Fourth frame now for Don Perry. Spare up for him. I see Don's had a 300 game uh, already at the, his tender age. Well, there's a good reason why right there as he yeah. bangs one home here in the fourth frame. So Perry answers the double by Patrick with one of his own. There you see it. That one pretty solid. Got a little help off the sidewall, but I don't really think he needed much of the sidewall. Just needed a little kiss on that 10 pin. All 10 pins uh, doing their job. All of them in the pit. That one doesn't quite come up the hill for him, and he leaves himself a two-pin spare. Yeah, he didn't quite follow through with that one, get the good uh, fingers and roll on it. It comes up light. Cross lane for the spare for Perry, so he's filled all five frames thus far. But right now finds himself down by 11 pins here in the match by no fault of his own. It's because this man, Scott Patrick, working on a double here in the fifth frame. Let's see if Scott remembers what he did the last two frames here. Well, gets it out wide enough, see if it'll come back for him. Again, just didn't quite hook up for him. Nah, he... Uh... Got that in the, uh, the heavy oil area a little bit again. Good chance to see him, and he goes very, very low on the approach. Yeah, he does. Down. He gets down low. That ball's not more than three or four inches off the floor. At the... Looks like he gets good turn, but if you get it in that oil, it isn't going to turn at all for you. No, he's left himself a tough spare of the bucket. See if he can cover this one. Nope. Just and never grabbed for him. One. So the open frame here in the fifth for Scott Patrick gives us a tight match once again. So sixth frame now for Patrick and at one time had a chance to take an 11 pin plus lead. Now finds himself down by seven. And a nice comeback for Patrick here in the sixth frame. That's the way to come back from a miss. Just uh, don't let it bother you. Forget about it. Frame's over with and go to the next one. So now, Simon Kenton High School Junior Don Perry. Sixth frame for him. Spare up. Working on that right-hand lane, lane eight. And Perry bangs one home here in the sixth frame. Well, his last two shots on that right-hand lane, Doug, have been solidly home. Yeah, that was a nice ball. I, I noticed here one of his hobbies is uh, karate, and uh, he karate those uh, pins that time. Well, he chopped the 10 out both times on that right-hand lane. Sure did. And he's up by uh, seven pins now. He's got a chance to try to build on that here in the se seventh frame. Strike up for him.
Yeah, that time couldn't get any help off the wall, and the six pin oh, looked yeah. like it kind of died in the gutter for him that time. Yeah, it did. Uh, just laid there. Get a chance to maybe see, see it. it. Top right hand portion of your screen, it really never gets to the wall for him. As you can see, the six going right in front of the ten, and then just laid in the gutter. Let's see if he can go cross lane here for it. Ooh, got a hurry, and he gets it. So, Perry maintains the seven pin lead, but now Patrick, a chance to take a lead with a strike right here in the seventh frame. It just goes back and forth. Scott has a somewhat unusual approach, takes six steps, as we'll see here. He didn't like where he ended up either. You saw him take a look at his feet, and he knew he pulled it, but if you're going to pull it, pull it just at the right time. <laughs> he pulled it uh, into the right area, went Brooklyn with it, and gets the double. I say it's kind of unusual. Uh, brings to mind Mark Roth on the Pro Tour, who uh, uses sometimes uses six steps, sometimes uses seven, sometimes uses five. Well, you saw Scott. He takes two real slow steps to start off mm -hmm. with. I'm Mark Roth, as you said. Uh, normally, most people take four or five step delivery, but whatever works for you is uh, fine. As long as you stay consistent with it. Looking for a three bagger now. Man, he's got one. So after the open frame in the fifth, Scott Patrick comes back with a double here, or making a three-bagger now, working in the eighth frame. And if he could have that fifth frame back, he could be working on six in a row here, Doug. There we uh, see perfect shot. So now Don Perry, who has filled every frame, finds himself suddenly trailing by double digits. He needs to get some strikes. It's starting now. Well, there's one right there here in the eighth frame. Now, Perry, ninth frame for him, and he needs to double up right here and put the pressure back on Scott Patrick. Patrick was ahead in the match. He had a chance to take a 15-pin lead and found himself down by seven and has rallied to take a 13-pin lead here late in the match. Ninth frame now for Don Perry. Yep, couldn't get that 10 out of there, and he got... The shot to blow off the side wall and trip out the five, luckily. Cut it out uh, a little too far to the right. Uh, it was coming back nicely, but uh, not uh, heavy enough into the pocket. You see, he just threw that head pin to the side wall, and he just couldn't glance it off that seven that time. Needs this one. One cross lane here for it. Well, nicely done for Don Perry, so he keeps himself mathematically in this match. But now all he can do is sit back and watch... Scott Patrick finish out, and Patrick right now going on a 257 clip. Ninth frame for him, working on three in a row. Look out! Bad, bad break here in the ninth. You don't want those in the uh, foundation frame. Tough six seven split. And you see it it was heading for that head pin just about all the way and yeah. the end result most of the time when you go through the nose is a split. Now this one makeable, Doug, just gotta go cross lane four and try to slide that six yeah, across. Easier said than done, obviously, but see if he gives it a shot here. I need to throw the ball about where the ten pin is. Let's see. That gets his pin count, so an open frame here in the ninth for Patrick. And we right now are looking just about at a tie match. Get a chance to see it very quickly. Perry gets a nine count there in the 10th frame, and then obviously, if they can match each other from there out, we would end up with another roll off here. But you've seen a roll off earlier this season on the program. Very rare to happen, but right now on a pace to do that. Well, Patrick again comes back from an open frame with a strike here in the 10th. Got a break on that one, a little mixing ball. Richard, have you signed up for your summer league yet? They're uh, forming now. No, but I'll tell you what, uh, I think I'm planning anything. on it though, and uh, we invite everybody to sign up for their summer leagues and get out there and bowl here in the summer. Nice way to beat the heat. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, if we have some more 100 degree days like last summer, uh, that's where you ought to be, is in, in that air conditioning. So 
So now if Perry, or rather Patrick, excuse me, finishes right here with a spare, he'll finish at 213, 195 of which is scratch. And then what Don Perry would need to do for a win would be to strike and spare and win by a pin. A lot of things can still happen here in the match. Well, look out, that might be an important pin right here, Doug. Yeah, pin count uh, at this point in the match is very important. Uh, that was an easy spare. You, sh you shouldn't miss those in the 10th frame. Well, right there, I'll tell you what, would Patrick, if Patrick could have gotten that pin, it would have forced Perry to get a nine count and a spare and then hammer away with a strike to tie the match up. Now, Perry can get a nine count, spare nine count to tie. Must mark right here. Man, that's a way to mark right there for that's Don the, Perry. That's the best kind to get. So now all he needs to win this match is nine pins. And I'm not sure if he's looked at the scoreboard. I, I'm sure he has to see what he really needs to do, but I haven't even seen him glance over there once. Maybe he doesn't want to know what he has to do. <laughs> well, he's got two balls to get nine pins. Let's see what he does here. Well, there's nine plus one more, so that's going to do it. The winner, Don Perry, with that shot right there as he trips that 10-pin out. And he comes back shaking his head. There you see it. Patrick finishes at 212, 194 scratch. And Perry, a chance to finish at 224 with one more, and that would be 199 for him. So both youth bowlers put on a good show here today, Doug. That's, uh, yeah, they look good. That's the way to do it in the 10th frame. Double up, he had the 10-pin dance in there, and finally the six uh, came back around, knocked it out. One more time for Perry. Nope, give him nine, but a win for Don Perry, who finishes at 223, 198 scratch. Our youth winner here in our final regular week from Super Bowl, Don Perry defeating Scott Patrick, 223 to 212. We'll be back with our women bowlers in one moment.